Hey, beautiful people, it's your girl Deja, and you are watching the All About Deja channel. So, let's just get to it. Um, actually, before we get to it, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe and turn on the notifications bell so that you are notified every time that I post. So basically, this is just a quick little video, just a life update. Um, I know a lot of people um, reached out to me when I posted my um, move from Virginia to Atlanta video. Um, so I just want to give an update on what I've been dealing with since I've been here, how's it's how you know it's going, you know, everything like that. So, you know, I've probably been in Atlanta for shoot, how many months now? Like, I don't know, almost a year at this point, you know. Okay, so I got here August 31st, basically it's September, so September. October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. Wow. Wow. I've been here for eight months, y'all. That is so crazy. Wow. I did not expect that. Wow. Like, time flies. Time flies. And let me tell you, so much has happened. So, I just want to get y'all, you know caught up to speed so pretty much you know i have my car now my mom got me a car um well i had a car you know in virginia i think i mentioned it um but in the other video i think i mentioned how i was without a car for majority of you know my time in atlanta when i first moved here because my car back home was in the shop and so i was just you know just that just made my life a hundred percent harder you know being here in a, a new place with no friends no family no one to lean on no one to really depend on you know it was like i had to i just had to do what i had to do and not having a car made that so much like just so hard honestly um it just made it really hard but now um that i have a car i can pretty much do what i want to do which mm, 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 plates my benefits of I just completed my first acting major acting class. I've done acting classes in like college and stuff like that, but I finally completed my first major acting class and I loved it. It was amazing. It was through Royal Horizon Productions studios and yeah so that's you know one thing off my my little bucket list um well like to-do list that I had set for when I got here to Atlanta um and last night I actually went to a improv acting event where I connected with a lot of you know amazing actors and even casting directors and you know filmmakers just people in the industry so of course you know like i said i've been just networking 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 um so yeah like that the networking side of things has been amazing i've been meeting different you know directors different you know people um i necessarily haven't gotten to the point where i can go full on hard and just going and on auditions for huge productions yet um and not that i can't i just chose to sit back and train a little more um because i i just want i don't need to just jump out doing so much at once you know i'm finally settled here you know when i i first thought when i moved out here i thought i was gonna just hit the ground running and just do audition after audition and just be booking this and booking that but it's just like now that i'm settled you know my apartment is i mean like 95 percent fully decorated of course you know i have like even pictures over here that like i need to put on my wall and like curtains i already have that just aren't put up 
but like all the rest of my house is fully furnished now like everything's amazing and great and you know perfected and it's like now i have my car so it's like all that is like things i don't have to worry about anymore so i mostly you know just been working um you know pay the bills and stuff right now i'm working at breakfast at barney's which is a really popular um you know new spot in downtown atlanta um so i've i've been working there for a little bit and i've actually had a few um you know celebrity um customers so that's just that just kind of gives gives the vibe of the clientele that we attract at that place which you know i'm not really like a big like i don't get starstruck mostly i really you know celebrities are cool and you know i aspire to be a celebrity one day so it's just like i'm not gonna freak out over them because what if they remember that how embarrassing like what if when i make it as an actress in this world and it's when not if for anyone looking at me like i'm crazy when never if so when I do make it and I get to that level, it's like, I don't want people to remember me and be like, oh, you were that girl. I remember you. And uh, it's just like, no, please. No. So we keep it calm, cool, and collected over here. I don't get, you know, crazy. Um, But yeah, so that's just a side note. Um, But yeah, so I just assumed I had to hit the ground running and just doing all these auditions and things like that. But it's just like, no, I wanted to kind of, take my time um and just get a few classes and you know get some just get a a good like foundation um set so that i'm when it does happen i'm ready to go and i just feel like you know everything in my life is just where it needs to be so that nothing like even if one area of my life is prospering that another area isn't lacking and so that goes in, you know, career, that goes in even, you know, to my job. Like, I just want to make sure everything is set, even, you know, here, my home life, my personal life, even, you know, my non-existent love life. <laughs> I mean, I told y'all, you know, I was going on a few days, like meeting people and stuff like that. But it's just like, at this point, I had to step away from that. Um, it was nothing that really was worth my energy, worth my time, nothing. You know, I wasn't impressed. Um, you know, I mean, not to say that I didn't meet great people, but I just feel like nothing, you know, was substantial enough that I want to take to the next level with me, you know. So that's just that. So as of right now, I'm back to my chilling mode, my grind mode, you know, me and God just, just working, just hustling, just getting everything together. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all that's going on right now. Um, oh yeah, I just got back from Mexico. Um, I probably should have vlogged. I should have vlogged. I went to Mexico alone, y'all, for my birthday. Yeah, my birthday was May 12th and I turned 23. So your girl had an amazing time. And if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw little snippets here and there. Um, but yeah, like I just wanted to enjoy my trip and just relax and be in the moment. So I didn't even vlog that and I didn't, um, you know, take a lot of pictures or videos. I took a few and I make and upload them. If you go follow me on Instagram at all about Deja. You can see my highlights, see a little few things that I did. I did do some excursions and I went to like the snows and caves and I did zip lining and, you know, just, it was just an adventure anyway. Like I speak a little bit of Spanish, but nothing crazy. So of course, you know, we had the Spanglish going on. So that was interesting communicating. It was interesting, you know, and it just scary at times you know me i'm a night owl so i was going out at night like craving different snacks desserts so it's just like figuring out how to get where i want to go catching taxis you know 
at one point I didn't even have pesos and just trying to figure out, make sure they're not charging me too much for things with my American dollars, which they were um, at one point, you know, one little situation, but I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm gonna let it go because it's more them and only one of me. So I'm not about to start something over a few dollars, okay? You know, just have it because you need it at this point. Um, but that is one thing to note when traveling abroad alone, um, you know, just just make sure you know your ish. Make sure you study, make sure you gather, you do that research and you know what's going on, like especially with currency and, you know, even just climate. Like I wish I could show you, let me see. Like my tan lines are crazy, absolutely crazy. And I'm also like peeling because yeah like look at me i'm like peeling and everything because the sun that mexican sun is nothing to play with okay nothing to play with i've never been sunburned before in my life in all my 23 years and i avoided the sun as much as possible but it got me <laughs> so yeah just came on here to ramble that's pretty much all just came to say hi i actually have I always do this. I record videos and then I just don't feel led to post them um, right away. So I have a few videos that I have just sitting in. And most of those are like words, um, you know, I feel like God was laying on my heart to speak to you all about. Um, some of them get really deep and personal. So I just haven't felt led to um, upload them yet. But when the time comes, you will get those videos. I do want to, you know not only have videos that are talking about my life or my experiences, but I also want to have videos that are inspired by my faith. And, you know, I just want to incorporate that as well. Um, just give, you know, just Holy Spirit filled videos and messages and encouragements. Um, so yeah. That's just a little update, you know, on what's going on in Deja's life. So I'm going to end it here and I just love you guys and I hope you all keep watching, subscribe, and yeah, so continue to put God first and put yourself second and just love everyone.